Welcome to our video on integrating React with Swagger and OpenAPI specifications. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter. How to generate a client for your API using Swagger and effectively use it in your React application. Our viewer has created an API specification using Swagger Editor, but is facing challenges with the generated client options. Let's dive into the details and explore the objectives, current hurdles, and potential approaches to solve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To generate a React client for your Swagger API specification, we first need to understand the limitations of the generated code from Swagger Editor. One approach is to generate TypeScript files and then convert them to flow types. This allows you to maintain static typing in your React app. Alternatively, you can manually add the generated JavaScript files to your project. However, be aware that these files may have their own dependencies. Another option is to consider adding TypeScript to your project. This may require replacing Flow, but it can provide better compatibility with the generated code. In summary, you have several options to integrate Swagger generated clients into your React app. Choose the approach that best fits your project's needs. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. For integrating Swagger or OpenAPI specifications in a React application, a simple solution is to use the Swagger JS library. This allows for dynamic implementation until a generator is available. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.